Tyler Perry was reportedly seen taking a 20-minute private jet worth $125 million to Los Angeles before making a landing in Santa Barbara, where he reportedly saw Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Two hours after the meeting, Perry flew back to Atlanta, Georgia. The weekend get-together of Perry and the Sussexes, however, didn't go down well with the people online. One user tweeted, Tyler Perry made an emergency flight in his private jet to visit Meghan and Harry at home for two hours. Hopefully, he's convinced them to stay away from the coronation. Another user wrote, Apparently first Meghan rescued Harry, then Harry rescued Meghan, then Tyler Perry rescued both of them. These two watched way too much Disney. Always playing damsels in distress. A third user shared, and Tyler is going to what? Pay the mortgage now. They're scrambling and no one else wants to help. They'll need a free jet if they go to the coronation and no doubt free security and free rent soon here in the States. Their brand has sailed to the South Pole and sunk the boat. Someone else added, Surely Meganut told Uncle Tyler she was setting his house, yet his house on fire. He had to come. Many people believe that Harry and Meghan lied again. Tyler didn't see them. He went to see Oprah. Tyler Perry is not the godfather to Lily. He doesn't want to be involved and he admitted that he never saw the child. Tyler probably knew no child existed and didn't want to be the laughing stock. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan Markle admit They'd never met Tyler Perry before moving into his home. I'd never met him before, Markle recalls, noting that the Diary of a Mad Black Woman star's letter stated he'd always be there if she needed anything. Last December, Tyler Perry revealed he was honoured to be asked by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to be Lilibet's godfather, while admitting that he told the couple he'd not agree to travel to the UK to take part in a christening ceremony with the royals. However, the Los Angeles-based actor who loaned the Sussexes his $18 million Beverly Hills mansion in 2020 admitted that he refused to come to the UK for a royal christening. Perry suggested that he didn't want to take part in the pomp and circumstance of a traditional royal ceremony, telling the couple's bombshell Netflix docuseries that he didn't want to do all of that in the church with them and figure it all out. The director added that he'd rather have done a private ceremony in California, Speaking of the moment that Harry and Meghan asked him to serve in the role of Godfather, Perry recalled, They were pretty serious on the phone, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? And they said, well, we'd like for you to be Lily's Godfather. I had to take a minute to take that in, and I thought I'd be honoured, absolutely honoured. However, after thinking about what his role as Godfather might mean, Perry says he made clear to the couple that he didn't want to travel to the UK in order to take part in a traditional christening ceremony with the royals. I got off the phone and took it all in and then I called them back and said, hold on a second, does that mean we have to go over there and do all of that in the church with them and figure it all out because I don't want to do that. Maybe we can do a private ceremony here and let that be that. If you have to do it there then that's okay.